Hello, Pisces. I have a message for you. My name is Amber from Mystic Eyes the Journey. And I'm here with a message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and really anybody that wants to connect with Pisces energy today. I hope this finds you well. If these messages resonate, please like the video, share, comment, follow along. Uh, personal readings and personal healing sessions remotely are in the description box below. Just send me an email. So let's just get straight on into it. Pisces, what does Pisces Collective need to know? I'm working with Tarot today and a couple of Oracle decks. And we'll see the messages for Pisces today. Okay. All right. Your energy just came out front and center. The hanged man. The hanged man. Okay. Let's get a few more cards for Pisces. All right, there we go. Okay, 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 okay. Back of the deck, awakening. And this is also the um, judgment card. So judgments here. How oh, very exciting. Okay, hanged man. Then we had our knight of cups. Someone coming to you with an offer. Six of swords. Moving on from something to something better. And we have the death card in reverse with judgment as the overall like anchoring of this energy. So judgment is all about answering a call, an inner call. Now this particular judgment card, I just want to show you. We have this energy in the space between the throat chakra and the heart chakra. So there's this awareness, right? It's all about some sort of divine information or download coming towards you. But this particular download is going to require heart-focused communication. Heart-focused communication. So I'm getting that you're going to have to have a hard conversation here, a difficult conversation. But if your conversation is coming from a place of truth and heart, open heart, you can say whatever you need to say. And if it isn't received the way you want it to be received, then that's truly not your problem, Pisces. I'm getting this energy that most of you know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to continue channeling. Now we have the hanged man in reverse. Hanged man upright is an energy of just hanging tight, shifting your perspective, sitting with something, right? Getting some sort of judgment, some sort of download and taking your time to fully receive, fully see all the nooks, the crannies, the possibilities that come with this awareness, with this awakening, right? But this energy is in reverse. So we're either avoiding this altogether or we're avoiding taking our time to really sit with it and understand all aspects of what it is that you're being given, right? So I'm feeling that maybe some of you want to rush into something, right? Because the hanged man is all about like, just stay put. And I feel like a lot of you Pisces are like, no, 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 no. Like, let's, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's get this over with. And spirit is saying, no, 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 no. You need to sit with it. Yeah, there's a stillness that needs to happen with this new awareness. I'm hearing amplified awareness. You see something for exactly what it is and you know that it's going to require you to move or shift. I'm getting for a lot of you shift that this is a mental process, not literal. For some of you, it's literal, right? As within, so without. When we make these internal shifts... Sometimes it manifests in a physical way in front of us. So this could be a literal move or literal travel. But I do feel like this is a mental shift. Now somebody's coming towards you with an offer. Or you're coming towards somebody with an offer. 
Place it as it resonates. An offer of love. But there needs to be a shift of perspective because this energy is upright. So if somebody's coming towards you, you don't have to fear this or, you know, reject it. You just have to sit with the offer. Sit with it and think about it. I'm going to give you a more mundane example of this energy. This is an energy of like a job offer. Very mundane example. If this resonates, great. If it doesn't, place it into your situation. An offer letter coming to you. This is what we can give you. These are the benefits. This is the time. This is what we're doing. Do you want it? You know, it's a good offer. Yeah, I want it. What if what if another offer doesn't come? <clears throat> Spirit is saying, no, wait, wait. See all the angles. Sit with it. Be silent. Be still. Don't make a move. Because you know, you know that there's something better. Right? This is faith. The awakening, the judgment card is about faith. And then we have the death card in reverse. The death card in reverse can mean resistance, right? Resistance to change. But I also read this as an internal change. And something is changing inside of you. And perhaps if you accept this offer as it presents itself today, by the end of this shift, by the end of this change, you may be a different person. And this offer is no longer good enough. It's not what you want. Now we do have the cups energy. So, um, you know, a lot of you, this is going to be a love situation. This is going to be entering a connection, a commitment. And realizing that after your awakening, after your transformation, that maybe this, this isn't exactly what I want. Again, this energy is upright. Spirit is not asking you to reject. Spirit is asking you to just be still. You know, if somebody wants to move forward, maybe having that difficult, heartfelt, heart-centered conversation of, I don't really know what I want. I don't really know what's happening. I'm shifting. I'm moving. I'm, I'm changing. So I need to be still and see what it is that spirit is asking of me. And then I can let you know if it's in alignment with me. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go into Oracle from here. This is interesting. But this is, this is an energy of faith. A test of faith. Those are often the most challenging spiritual tests to master or to ace. <clears throat> yeah, because behind that judgment card was the ace of pentacles in reverse. I'm getting that a lot of you are in a lack mentality of like, well, this might be the best thing I get. This might be my shot. The spirit is saying no. Have faith. You deserve to have exactly what it is that you want. The storyteller. Light attributes. Ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols. The shadow attribute is making up tales to harm others. Okay. So with that storyteller, I'm being brought right back to this throat chakra thing. For some of you... 
you know, this may be a breakup. This may be a breakup um, or leaving a job situation that you've been in for a long time and there's some sort of emotional ties to it. And I feel like you may have a tendency to, <laughs> you know, it's not you, it's me. Or, you know, here's this other obscure area of my life that I'm going to shift blame on. This is why I'm feeling this way. Be honest. Be honest. Speak from this space here. The space between the heart and the throat. Now, you may need to do some chakra work here, right, with this hanged man. You know, this may be a beautiful opportunity to realign and do some inner work, right? Start singing. Start using your voice. Get out in nature. Reactivate the heart space. Because we have the martyr here too. The light attribute. Learning to transcend nature. Learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or a cause. The shadow attribute is addiction to self-pity. Right, the martyr energy is giving yourself, giving yourself and not getting anything in return. Right, and that's a beautiful energy. I'm seeing that that's what you're here to do, right? We have this awakening card. But this energy that you possess is valuable. It is very, very valuable. Okay, so who you choose to share your nature with needs to value it. Now, if we're talking about a job, then we, we're talking about they need to monetarily value it, emotionally value you, give you praise, give you accolades, recognize what you're doing. If this is an emotional connection, friendship, dynamics within family, you need to start seeing your value, right? And that may require difficult conversations, but prepare for these difficult conversations. Do yourself the honor of being still, seeing the situation for exactly what it is and resisting that urge to react and get it over with. Allow yourself to travel away from the old thought patterns, the old paradigms that kept you in an energy of lack. Your self-worth is wanting to explode and be expressed. There's a major change happening within you, Pisces. So don't commit yourself or offer anything or accept any offers until you really realize the significance of this change. The mother. So I'm getting that a lot of you, maybe this throat chakra, heart chakra imbalance, not really being able to express yourself and express your needs and express your worth may have started in childhood, right? Perhaps the inner child was expected to be a martyr, to sacrifice their needs and themselves in order to appease the greater good or appease their connections or their relationships. You know, perhaps in early childhood, relationships, success of relationships were fully dependent on your ability to sacrifice. The light attributes of the mother is nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy, and giving birth to life. The shadow is smothering or abandoning children, instilling guilt in children for becoming independent. That's what this is. That's exactly what this is. This is a deep transformation. This is the transformation of a child that was taught that your value in this world is what you give to others. And how dare you give to yourself? That the act of being self-interested, the act of seeing your own worth is selfish, wrong. And it's not true. 
right? The mother energy and its light attributes <clears throat> is unconditional love. Giving birth just for the sake, the beauty to bring life into this world. Not so that you can use that life to your whims and needs and unresolved issues. Just for the opportunity to bring life into this world. No conditions, no stipulations. Just allowing that life to be free. Someone's coming with an offer. Make sure it's in alignment to freedom. Make sure it's in alignment to freedom. Because you have important work to do here. All right, just a couple more cards. This is the, what is this? Sacred Mothers and Goddesses deck. All right, that's two. Thank you, Spirit. Freya, Sensuality and Sachel, fertility and healing. Okay. So again, we have a lot of blues in this energy, as well as reds. This is the root, right? That's an energy of family, our foundation. The blue represents the truth. Fertility and healing. Yeah, I mean, for a lot of you, we're actually talking about making children or becoming a parent. You know, for some, it's more metaphorical. All right, you're in this fertile energy. And I'm getting, Pisces, that you are always in this fertile energy. You have this beautiful ability to take seeds, to take intention and nurture it and love it until it becomes something. And a lot of people see the value of this energy and are therefore attracted to you like a moth to a flame. But do they really value the energy is the question. How do you know if somebody values you? Well, what do they give to you in exchange for your energy? That's how you know. If they give you nothing, if they give you guilt, if they abandon you, if they smother you, they don't value you. Freya, sensuality. Mm. Sensuality, it's an energy of pleasure. And just fearlessly being allowed to exist in a way that allows you to follow your own bliss. Right? Look at this mirrored energy. Right? Being able to see yourself, to find yourself. Pisces, a lot of you don't know what you what you want. Some of you may not even know who you are. And you're about to embark on a very, very significant journey to the self. To knowing what it is that you like, what you don't like. What's good for you, what stifles you, what makes you feel free, what makes you feel confined. You're healing something within yourself. And you're going to tell this story. You're going to tell this story. You're going to speak this story. If you know what that means, you know what that means. <laughs> if you don't, 
Just start the journey. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this resonated. If it did, please give me a like, um, comment, follow along for more. My information is in the description box below if you're interested in personal private readings or healing sessions. And until we meet again, namaste.